Tobia Bo Federal Constituency. I'm an inquiry man from River State. Mr. Speaker, my dear colleagues, I don't think that I should speak at this juncture. So I will step down whatever I have concerning this budget until we pass the MTF. Thank you, sir. I don't want you to come and claim that you are not given the opportunity to debate. Mr. Speaker, my reason on the MTF figures, so I cannot proceed until I am sure of those facts. Honorable Chinda, figures are always variables. In mathematics, figures are variables. I not want to continue to do it I would prefer to be special know that I was not given the opportunity. That's why I couldn't make the contribution. So I will still plead with you to allow me see the MTF. That will ground my contribution to the budget, sir. Thank you. Great, and it is ripe. It is ripe in nature, and that is when you raise it up, not in anticipation. Uh, now, having said that, Mr. Speaker, please allow me or indulge me to take us back just a couple of minutes. Uh, I want to cite privilege as well to take us back to Honorable Chinda. My privilege that is being breached here is, Mr. Speaker, that I believe as a member of this House, I should have the privilege, like others too, to listen to Honorable Chinda's debate, being the gatekeeper of our Treasury, the Chairman Public Accounts, on whom we rely so much and who has proven himself over and over again, year in, year after, to be a very, very accomplished and very well-learned legislator. So I believe it is our privilege to listen to him contribute to this debate. But having said that, Mr. Speaker, I want to, like you, join and try to persuade Honorable Chinda to contribute, he's the chairman of public accounts, to, to contribute to this debate. He talked during his, during, uh, when was, uh, his position was that he wanted to be specific. He wanted to deal with specifics. But you see, that is exactly what our rule says we should not do. It is a debate on the general principles, not on specifics. The rules of the house are very clear. The rules of the house, the, the rules, I am not done yet. I am not done. I am not done. Mr. Speaker, as I was saying, the rules of the house, I believe Honorable Chinda, Honorable Chinda, the debate should be based on general principles of diversification, the quantum of money that has, been, that has been allocated, the issues of job creation. Those are the issues that should be debated, not specifics. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I will again encourage, encourage Honorable Chinda to give us his wealth of knowledge on the general principles, diversification of the economy, job creation, the amount of money that has been devoted to sectors, those are the issues we want to hear. Not the specifics on one dollar or two dollars. Thank you. Okay. My point of order, Mr. Speaker, is on order 10, Route 2. With your camp permission, I will read, Mr. Speaker. The Speaker in the House and the chairman order, of any committee colleagues, order. shall be responsible for the observance of the rules of order in the House and committee respect, uh, respective. And their decision upon any point of order shall not be open to appeal and shall not be Honorable by the House except order in the House. motion after notice. The Chimba issue has been laid to rest by the House, by the decision from the Chair. The question upon which the majority leader will resurrect it should be upon a substantive motion, not to be able to discuss. Honorable Osai, but the, the presiding officer has not ruled on it. So if I rule otherwise, if I rule on it, thank you very much for protecting me. So I have not ruled on it. 
And that's why I didn't say anything. So since I, I can't, I don't, okay, your point of order is noted. I've ruled, his point of order is noted. Okay, Jeff. <laughs> and I had to keep quiet. And it should be a form of education for others. When you cite privilege, you now go to the relevant statute and cite the particular 